artificial intelligence and what it is. AI is a fundamental existential risk for human civilization. And I don't think people fully appreciate that. Gerald and we want to ask you about that. AI is a fundamental existential risk for human civilization. We've got Stephen Hawking in, in the last couple of days calling AI the worst event in the history of our civilization. How does this intersect with your thinking, your, your views? Well, uh, <laughs> see, I don't think AI is a real thing, but I think the belief in AI is an existential threat to our civilization. <laughs> I mean, I really, you don't think it's real because it's just, it's just harvesting human insights and, and building them into algorithms. Right. Uh, nevertheless, uh, it, it's, it's, not, it, it's not that, I mean, there's something going on there that functions in the world now and presumably will function more and more, whether you, I don't know what you call real or not real, it's, it's happening. Right, so um, the example I like to use to illustrate the way I think about this is automatic translation between languages. Um, mm -hmm. And there are a few companies that provide these services. I think it's cool and wonderful to be able to get a quick translation of a memo. Uh, so I'm, I'm happy the services exist, but in order to make them work, we have to steal tens of millions of example phrases from real people who translate every single day, mm -hmm. and those people aren't informed it's happening. They're certainly not credited or paid. And then, the, see, the problem is, if you say, oh, we've created this electronic personage, we've created this entity that's doing the translating, then it allows you to take the next step and say, oh, those people, they aren't really needed, so they should all get basic income. They're not needed anymore. They'll go on the dole. They're left behind. When, in fact, we do need them, so that whole thing's a lie. So if you peel back the curtain of AI, you don't find a Wizard of Oz. Instead, you find millions of people who are being stolen from. So it's it's a, a kind of a theft, or, you know, and so if we... Because do, AI, as we know, it's built mm -hmm. on, it's built on uh, harvesting tons and tons of human behavior and insight and, and building into algorithms. So that's the theft, but you see an economic input that's unrecognized now. Well, it's not just that it's an economic... Uh, injustice and, and, it, and it's, uh, it can destabilize our future, but it also removes human responsibility where in fact it is a human activity. So uh, let's say you have the same effect for targeting drones where you're harvesting human data, uh, human data to uh, create these algorithms that decide where drones should strike. It's still coming from people, but if you say, oh no, it's the electronic brain that's responsible, then you're removing the responsibility that it should exist with humans who should be in the loop. And that, that process of the fantasy that you're building these artificial super beings, that fantasy removes people from responsibility, and that is an existential threat. And in that sense, Elon Musk is correct. But, uh, but in the sense that there's an actual sort of alien god or something that we're building, that's false, but it's the belief in it that could really screw us terribly.